So Poland's controversial anti-abortion law has come into force on Wednesday, sparking nationwide protests that brought thousands into the streets despite the coronavirus restrictions. The move means that termination of pregnancy will now be allowed only if the woman's health is threatened or if the pregnancy is the result of a criminal act such as rape or incest. Protesters in the capital of Warsaw lit red flares, waving rainbow flags associated with the LGBTQ community and brandished placards. The court ruling bans the abortion of fetuses with congenital defects and critics argue that it narrows the already tight law to a near total ban of abortions. <laughs> po prostu miały nasze podstawowe prawa. Prawo do decydowania o własnym ciele, o tym, co chcemy robić, czy w ogóle chcemy rodzić dzieci i w jakim stanie chcemy rodzić te dzieci. Nie chcę kiedyś zajść w ciążę i patrzeć na dziecko, które umiera mi po porodzie, bo tam już nie przeradza. Bo to jest najwyższy czas, żeby powiedzieć miałam aborcję, miałam aborcję siostry, jestem z wami i to jest mój wkład there are fewer than 2,000 legal abortions every year. Women's groups estimate that an additional 200,000 women abort either illegally or abroad. Poland was rocked by massive demonstrations when the constitutional court verdict was first issued in October last year. The protests sparked by the abortion ruling soon became an expression of wider anti-government sentiment. The biggest protests brought together tens of thousands of people in what organizers said was a generational revolution against the status quo, including against Poland's Catholic hierarchy. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever. Vian is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.